Alright, ow. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Welcome back. No, I have not done this in a while. Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me for another artsy video. I am the Craft Monster and today we're going to be doing a video that has been very highly requested. I've been hearing from all of you that you've had a little bit of issues with doing the loop portion of setting up and threading your Singer M1000. So that's the video that we're going to focus on today. Okay, so before we get started, we always have to gather all of our supplies. So I have already have my Singer M1000 uh, fully ready, plugged in with foot pedal. Um, I have a bobbin that has already been threaded. Okay. I have my needle threader, some scissors, and some fabric, and a spool of thread. So now that I have all of my supplies, let's jump in. Right now, my machine is fully threaded and ready to go. So I'm gonna turn this around and I'm going to undo it so that it's in the starting position, okay? So I'm gonna turn it to me. I'm gonna remove this cover for my bobbin and I'm gonna pop my bobbin out and pull this thread back out of the machine, okay? So now this is in the starting position. All right, so I'm gonna lift this up using the little uh, handle on the back to raise this portion. And I'm going to search for this thread to make sure I have this. Now, in this position that I have it, the, the needle is already threaded. And if you're not sure how to do this, you can always go back to my uh, M Singer M1000 tutorial for, for beginners to see how to thread uh, your needle. But in this position, we already have this fully threaded. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this thread over to the side, just like that. And so I'm gonna take a fully uh, threaded bobbin, okay? And I'm gonna just kind of pull just a little bit of thread just to make sure that it's, it spins and it, it, it moves the way I want it to. So I have this thread. You wanna make sure the thread is coming off of the bobbin in a counterclockwise position. So facing to, if you're looking at it, it should be to the left, okay? So you're gonna take this with the thread to the left and plop it right inside of your machine, okay? Now, once you have it inside, take the string, and if you see here, there's a little open groove, you want to work that thread into that groove and pull it over, okay, to the side, just like that. So this is the thread for my needle, and this is the thread for my bobbin. Give it a tug just to make sure the bobbin smoothly spins. So it does, okay? So I'm gonna pull about four inches. I always kind of overshoot, so maybe even six inches of thread over to the side. And then I'm going to replace my cover, okay? just like this, okay? So give it another tug to make sure it still spins, and this does, okay? So now it should pretty much look like this. Two separate strings, you have the bobbin thread and your needle thread, okay? So kind of have them separated, okay? And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab my needle thread and I'm gonna hold it and I'm going to take my hand wheel or my, my gray knob on the side of your Singer M1000 and I'm gonna turn it counterclockwise or towards myself, okay? And at the same time, I'm gonna lightly tug on the needle thread. So let's do this. And this step might take a couple of tries. Um, we're gonna spin this until we start to see the bobbin thread come up through this hole here. Okay, so if you look closely, my bobbin thread has a very tiny loop right there that just came out of this hole. So you're gonna continue to turn that, that knob, that uh, hand wheel, until that little tiny loop comes through this hole, okay? Once you see that loop, stop turning, okay? Just stop what you're doing. And you're going to, if you need to lower this you can okay you can lower it back down so that it gives it it makes it easier to grab that 
because what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that loop and that uh, thread that is through your needle and you're gonna pull them both together, okay? So get that thread all the way together. So once you've pulled them, it should look like this. They're both coming out of the hole together. So now this is your bobbin thread and this is your needle thread, okay? If it has a knot in it, you can kind of separate them. But this is where it should be coming from, out of the center of this hole. So now I can lift this back up, okay? I'm gonna take these two threads together and I'm gonna wrap them around this little, I don't know what this is, <laughs> this little bar and bring it under and then to the center of this. So now it's coming from underneath of this portion here. And I'm gonna take both strands and I'm gonna bring them to the back of my machine, okay? So to be sure that this is exactly how it should be, give these two strings a tug and they should both move together simultaneously, just like that. Okay, so now that I can see that they both move perfectly well, your machine is now ready to start sewing. So I have here my little material. Okay, I just picked any material here. Um, when you're actually sewing, make sure that you have a thread that matches your material. Um, but this one, in this case, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna take these scraps and I'm just gonna show you that this will actually work, that it's gonna sew this piece together properly. I'm just gonna place this into the machine, just like so. I'm gonna drop this down. There we go. And I'm gonna start sewing. Okay, and there you have it. You can see that this has fully stitched this uh, together and the machine is working so that's the stitch on the other side okay nice and together thank you guys for watching I hope that this video really helped you guys out and helped clear up some of the questions that you were having concerning threading your machine please remember to like comment and subscribe to these videos and I'll see you next time